All right, I am back with another Destiny 2 video. Uh, this is a follow-up to my video yesterday because I woke up to a couple Reddit threads being like, uh, Paul Tassie is doling out misinformation in his latest video, uh, which is the one I made yesterday about the Forsaken pack. Um, was I doling out misinformation? Kind of, but this is kind of a complicated situation. So I've been kind of researching this all morning in terms of what I allegedly got wrong here. And people are telling me that what I said yesterday, where I was talking about the Forsaken pack, which is what Bungie is selling after they carve out the Forsaken campaign uh, and the Tangled Shore, after making that free to play for six or for three months, um, the Forsaken pack, they said, uh, would contain the exotics from that expansion, the dungeon, and the raid. Uh, but in the list of things that disappeared, they listed the middle tree subclasses as things that would be disappearing. So I interpreted that as you would need to own the Forsaken pack to get those middle tree subclasses. But I believe that is tied into kind of the larger list of all of the expansions leaving Game Pass. So what people were saying is that the middle tree subclasses are not tied to just Forsaken, but I keep hearing <laughs> a lot of different things as to what they are tied to. So what I was saying is that if you didn't own Forsaken, or in this case Forsaken pack, you wouldn't have the middle tree subclasses from Forsaken. But uh, people were saying that either, <laughs> there were three things I heard people saying. Some were saying that if you have the most recent expansion, like if you have Beyond Light, you will get uh, the middle tree subclasses. Uh, some people were saying if you have any expansion, uh, including Forsaken, Beyond Light, or Shadowkeep, you would get the middle tree ones. And then some others are saying, no, they're making these free to play uh, when um, the December 7th patch rolls around and they're making Forsaken content free. Um, what I have discovered through research is I believe the correct answer to this is if you own any expansion, you have the middle tree subclasses. So I was able to find, or someone pointed me to a page where it's the official listing for Shadowkeep back when that came out, and it said uh, to unlock middle tree subclasses, you need the license for either Forsaken or Shadowkeep. Uh, that was written during Shadowkeep, so when you go to the Beyond Light page, it doesn't really say anything about that at all, but I have heard from people that have only owned Beyond Light and not Shadowkeep or Forsaken, and they had the middle tree subclasses too. Uh, so I believe the the right answer here is you can own any expansion. I assume that will include the Witch Queen and you will have access to the Middle Tree subclasses. What I still am not sure about now is it might be the opposite, where if you don't own Beyond Light or Shadowkeep, I'm not 100% sure that owning the Forsaken pack alone will get you the Middle Tree subclasses. Um, the reason being is that the Forsaken pack... Uh, is going to be cheaper than a regular expansion, and it is not technically a real expansion anymore. It is only uh, the raid, the dungeon, and the exotics. So, like, that's not really an expansion. And then when you go look at the description of what is included in the Forsaken pack, it does not list access to the middle tree subclasses. Um, given that is the, quote, Forsaken pack, I, I think it could, in, like, count as the Forsaken license to unlock the middle tree subclasses but that is not listed as one of the things it comes with. So in theory, you could own the Forsaken pack, but not any of the new expansions and not have access to the middle trees. Again, there is no clarity on this. I've kind of like, I've asked Bungie as much as I, I can, and we'll see if they, they get back to me or, or uh, respond to me on Twitter. But um, I, I'm kind of operating under the assumption now that if you own any expansion, maybe including the Forsaken pack, probably including the Forsaken pack, you will have access to the middle trees here. So, I, yeah, so what I said yesterday about the uh, middle trees being put into the Forsaken class, uh, the Forsaken pack is not, th there are other options, as in you can own one of the other DL DLC expansions and have access to the middle tree. This does not fundamentally change the point I was making, which is, this is stupid, <laughs> and the middle trees should just be made free at this point. Um, keep in mind that like we, we still have stasis. It is very confirmed that stasis is only tied to Beyond Light. So it's not like you can own Witch Queen and then get stasis. Like You, you have to own specifically Beyond Light uh, to get stasis because obviously the stasis quests are all kind of hooked up into that. Uh, but the middle tree is more accessible and you just have to own one of the expansions. Um, 
I we can debate stasis, but like, I really, really think that the middle tree should just be made free for everyone at this point. I mean, the whole point of the last video was I fundamentally don't believe in the concept of the Forsaken pack in the first place. I was stunned to learn that they weren't just making all the Forsaken free after this. Like, I didn't realize they were planning this Forsaken pack in the first place, and that was like the first I'd heard of it. Uh, so I was lumping in the the middle tree stuff there, but the overall point is yes, they should they should be making the middle tree uh, free. Um, especially, especially the middle tree, as opposed to like, okay, you want to sell the rain dungeon separately. I don't love that, but whatever. But the middle tree, like goading people to buy an expansion just to have access to like Well of Radiance or Titan Bubble or the super about to be buffed uh, Nova Warp is not good. I don't think that's good for the player base. I think that is confusing. I think the fact that like Granted, may, I just may be an idiot, like I said yesterday, but I feel like if I'm getting this confused about this, like trying to get new players to figure all this out is a nightmare. Uh, and then there's one final factor on top of this when we're talking about the middle tree things is what's going on with the subclass redesigns. So over the course of the next year, we are supposed to be getting in a situation where all the light subclasses are being redesigned into aspects and fragments. We have no idea if this whole middle tree drama is going to affect what you can unlock with, say, Void 3.0. So, okay, so let's say you own no expansions, <laughs> but you arrive in uh, Destiny when Void 3.0 is here for the Witch Queen, which has just turned everything into aspects and fragments. Is everyone just going to have access to aspects and fragments for you know the entire Void subclass at that point, or are they going to be uh, locking certain aspects and fragments behind the middle the middle tree subclass wall so like we know they're going to have something like interchangeable supers so we will almost certainly for we're going to have uh you know sentinel shield and then ward of dawn is like two separate swappable void supers so my question is 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 ward of dawn or is, is nova warp going to be locked unless you own one of the expansions is that how they're handling middle trees or are they going to say what i'm do what i'm saying and just unlock all of that for everyone I would hope that they are going to just kind of blend the middle tree idea into the larger system rework. And yet if they were going to do that, I don't know why they would even bother still telling people to pay for an expansion for this, you know, this three month period to get access to these middle trees. And, you know, the other ones aren't even coming until future seasons. I mean, let's assume it's one a season for the next couple of seasons, but it's like, so that's nine months or so until we get all of those reworked. So theoretically, you would have to be under the system where you need to own an expansion of a middle tree for at least one or two of the subclasses for a very long time. So you see why this is confusing and you see why this would be easier if they were just like, okay, as of December 7th, everyone has access to the middle tree uh, subclasses. I don't know why they're not doing that. And I don't know how this feeds into the new 3.0 system. Um, but yes, I guess I was wrong about uh, the middle tree being only tied to the Forsaken pack as it's tied into all the expansions, but it, the point is it still requires some sort of purchase. And if the Forsaken pack does count, that's probably going to be the cheapest one because that is only like two-fifths of an expansion or something because it's just the, the raid and dungeon and exotics. So that might be your cheapest path to unlock it. But again, it does not say explicitly that you unlock um, the middle tree if you buy the Forsaken pack. So this still kind of needs an answer, and I am still fundamentally confused about all of this. Um, and I just wanted to try and clarify just based on what I did find out in that, like, yes, there are other avenues to unlock middle tree subclasses going forward here, but it's still under a paid system. I retain that all of this is way too convoluted, and it's absolutely needs a ton of streamlining uh, but they're going the opposite direction and all they're doing is fragmenting things even further by selling raids and dungeons and exotic packs and subclasses like separately essentially uh, when i think they they need to make this much more cohesive um anyway we will see if i learn anything else or if i hear anything from bungie directly uh dmg is usually pretty good about clarifying things but it's also sunday uh before a holiday week here so i'm not expecting too much and if you stayed till the end of the video, you just got to see a wet Eevee butt walk by after her bath. So <laughs> congrats on that. But anyway, thanks for watching. Sorry if I misled you, but I am just trying to figure this out as much as anyone else is at this point, And it remains uh, kind of confounding. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.